Hi guys, welcome to Cyprus. We are on a five day vacation here in the Eastern Mediterranean. So if you'd like to return to the summertime with us, join us in this series of videos and discover the island with us. The island of Cyprus is a beautiful gem in the Mediterranean. With its secluded beaches, unspoiled nature and the inviting turquoise waters, Cyprus offers a serene escape from the busy world. Come with us as we explore various corners of the island and enjoy one of the last remaining warm places in Europe during October. That is actually the main objective of our vacation, being in warm weather in autumn and finding places to swim in the sea. You know, for us coming from the Czech Republic, a landlocked country without seas or oceans, it's always an exciting experience. This is called the Dragon Cave and I don't know what to expect, so let's take a look. It is not really a cave or just a very small one, but it's interesting. Maybe here we could find the dragon. Let's hope so. Where are you, dragon? Wow, there is a stream flowing uh -huh. here and it comes from this little pool. Come take a look. It's interesting. But it's very dark here, so you probably can't see anything. Sure you can. And there is no dragon, hmm. unless he is invisible. And it's very slippery, so we have to be careful here. Look at the... here. <laughs> We found this cool beach on Cyprus without people and it looks very cool here. I really like it. The sea is more on the rough side, so there are waves, but not totally terrible. It's doable and it's fun. So I like it and the water is warm. It was just a short demonstration just to show you how you swim in the Mediterranean Sea here on Cyprus and this is our first swim here on Cyprus. So Out of many. One of many, exactly. And I'm excited, I just want to show you everything, but we are just starting. Yay! <laughs> Wow, so original. Very. I've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. But the question is, what am I wearing now? Guys, if you saw this, you would be in awe or in shock. We had enough of that beach, so we are looking for another one. <laughs> we moved about three kilometers to another village with this beautiful church and there should be a beach nearby. Yes. We can see the beach down there and it looks empty again, so we will go there now. Yes, I really like it. Where is everybody? Guys, it's great for us. We have arrived at the beach. Yay! And it's a sandy one. Yes. Black sand or something, dark sand. Take it in your hands, 
so we see how it pours or something. Look, it really is sand. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. wow. So it's different here because the other beaches in the area are pebbly or rocky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, with pebbles. Yeah. yeah, and again, it's deserted. Uh -huh. Almost nobody here. We are the third group of people here. Yes, and look, it's quite long and it's absolutely great. This is amazing for introverts like yeah. us. <laughs> we will try the water. Yes, we will try the water immediately. It's amazing, sandy beach and you can run here, you can jump here. So it's great for me because <laughs> I like to move. I don't know what I... <laughs> oh. Okay, this was exhausting. I can't jump that much. We need to take it easy. Yay! And the water is so warm. Guys, I recommend. <laughs> Cyprus in October is great. It's the way. The last haven in Europe. Yeah. And now it's my turn to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> My honeybee loves to have fun. He's secretly like me. I'm a sea fairy. <laughs> I love the waves because they are fun. It's not dangerous here, so it's just fun. That's how we like it. <laughs> Gotta help me disappear From all those voices that I fear And all the moments I can handle Cause I'm different You have to promise to stay near Oh, you're always telling me the truth That's why I lean on we made it just in time to this lookout point and we can watch the sunset. <laughs> and the sun is very tiny and it's red, so that's great. And it's going into the sea. It's amazing. We are here on these cliffs, look, but not very dangerous, so even if you are afraid of heights, you don't have to be afraid here with us. Just like you know that I always do. All this now I'll ever make it. So help me go through. Whenever I've been not more than I can choose. That's when I leave. We are on a short hike in the mountains, in the forests here. The area is not very touristy. This was just a short drive from our holiday home, maybe 20 minutes driving. There are better hikes elsewhere in the mountains on the island, but we just wanted a change of scenery because we don't want to spend the whole time on beaches so we can breathe the fresh mountain air here with pine trees pine trees and it's nice look at the views so pretty there is greenery everywhere i thought i could use the opportunity and tell you something about the history of cyprus it's very complex so this is a very 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 simplified version i apologize to all the cypriots and everyone that knows more but just to 
tell you something. So, Cyprus was part of the Ottoman Empire, the Turkish Empire, from the 16th century until 1878, and then Great Britain took control of the island. Then, from 1925 until 1960, Cyprus was a British colony. So, that's very interesting. I had no idea. So, British colony. And then, in 1974, interesting things happened. Not pleasant things. So, the Cypriot government, which consisted of the Greek Cypriots, that was the majority, they supported the unification with Greece. In Greece there were changes, the kingdom dissolved and, you know, political changes, and Cyprus wanted to unify with Greece. But the Turkish minority, they were against it, and that led to tension, and Turkey intervened, military came, and they started the occupation of the northern part of Cyprus, and it's like that still, so Cyprus is divided into two parts, the northern Turkish part and the southern bigger Greek part, and there is tension still, and there is this buffer zone, the UN buffer zone, in between the two parts. We are looking towards the UN buffer zone here in the hills. And by the sea is a Turkish enclave. There is a town. And this is just a small part because the biggest Turkish part is on the northern side of the island. We are elsewhere, but there are also Turkish areas elsewhere on the island, so it's interesting. Cyprus is part of the European Union since 2004, same as the Czech Republic, for example. When we were driving here, there were signs like danger, Turkey occupied area close by, and it feels so weird in the European Union, so this is a complex problem and it's still not resolved. We didn't learn much about Cyprus when we were in school, for example. So for us, we always thought that it's okay there, but when you see the signs that there is this occupied area and, you know, it feels different. So this history lesson has been a mess. I apologize, but hopefully you got something out of it. And the result is that the division is still going on. There is the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, recognized only by Turkey. And then there is the Republic of Cyprus. And that's how it is. We are on top of the hill, 625 meters above sea level. So we made it. Not too many views from here. No. We have to go somewhere else for those. There should be some better views this way. And there are here oh. onto the mountains. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Pretty. So it's a nice hike. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Views and the green forest on the hills. Yeah. My favorite part. Yeah, it's very pretty. We weren't sure where to go to the mountains because the main area with waterfalls and everything is quite far from our accommodation. Yeah, well, like two hours by car one way. Yeah. And the days are short, so we didn't want to waste as much time driving. Mm -hmm, yeah, so I'm glad we found this area on the map and it's nice. We got the feel of the mountains and the views are nice and the pine trees are nice. Smell nice. Yeah, the scent of the pine trees, yay, Mediterranean.
there are still some leftovers of the UK here in Cyprus. The first thing is that they use the British electrical sockets here. Mm -hmm. The weird ones, you know, that don't look normal. <laughs> so you need an adapter to use your appliances and devices and everything, which we have already from our previous travels, so that wasn't an issue. But the second thing, which I didn't realize, was that they drive on the left side here, just like in the UK and a couple of more countries in the world. And I didn't know that. I booked the car first without reading about Cyprus. And then later I realized that, oh my God, I'm going to drive on the left side. And I had never done that before. But fortunately, it's not that difficult and you get used to it pretty quickly. So uh, I uh, reserved a car with an automatic transmission. So I don't have to worry about the stick, at least. Uh, so it was just about staying on the left side, you know. There are a few funny differences, like the blinkers and lights and the wipers are on the opposite sides. So at first, when I wanted to signal, you know, that I'm turning left or right, instead of the blinker, I started wiping the windshield. <laughs> so that looked like from some comedy movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was laughing. So the controls are a bit confusing, yeah. but you have to get used to it. Yeah. And yeah, at first I was confused as well as a navigator, just sitting there and watching the traffic. It felt so weird being on the left side all the time. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, that, that's how it is. And a few times when we went to the car, we always started going to the opposite uh, doors. Mm -hmm. So Peter, you know, went to the wheel and I yeah. went to the passenger seat. Yeah. <laughs> and what's pleasant for us from the British colony times is the fact that people here speak English. Greek is their main language, British is not an official language or anything, but even the older generation and the younger generation as well, everyone, they speak English quite good. So that's nice in the supermarkets and everywhere. It's easier. Today we are trying something new. We mm. are walking. <laughs> because we got used to the car, so every day we drive somewhere. But now we just left our house, which is over there behind the tree, and we are walking into the hills nearby. So in about 20 minutes, we should reach our destination. It's just a short walk. Okay, it's quite warm. Yeah. I was saying that, oh my God, it's so summery. Wow, so summery in October, yeah. we love it. That's why we came here. Yes, so we'll see how sweaty we will be, but when it's only a short hike, it should be very okay. And we can always jump into the sea after. Mm-hmm, exactly. Look for my grenades. Hopefully that's the correct English term. We are always so excited when we see something exotic to us. This definitely doesn't grow in our climate back home, so it's very cool to see. Because we know these things only from supermarkets <laughs> and stuff like that. And when you see it in nature, just growing here, it's wow. And in Czech, we call them granite apples. Yes, granite apples. <laughs> Yay. This is amazing. Always when we visit a different climate, we discover many things. And it's great discovering the world. Yeah. Remember Lokwats in Tenerife? Yes, wow. <laughs> we had never heard of Lokwats. And then they were there. <laughs> <laughs> and delicious. And delicious. This really feels like shopping in the exotic part of the supermarket. <laughs> Here we have oranges probably. And there are a few ripe ones up there as well. Yes, they are shining. And they are falling. Or maybe mandarins. Maybe, and they look tasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. fun. So fun. Cyprus is the warmest part of the European Mediterranean. So it's no wonder that there are so many exotic plants growing here. And we've also seen a few banana plantations here, which I was very surprised because I had no idea 
I thought bananas only grow in even warmer climates like Canary Islands. When we were on the island of Tenerife, there were many banana plantations, but I had no idea there are banana plantations here. So that's amazing. And that's why we came here, because in autumn, this southeastern part of the European Union, here in the Mediterranean, is the warmest. Elsewhere, autumn is slowly beginning, but here, summer still continues strong and that's great but in winter it will get colder maybe like 15 degrees celsius sometimes 20 but it's not warm all year long and here in the southeastern part of the mediterranean the sea stays the warmest the longest that's why it's great to come here in autumn 27 degrees celsius is the temperature of the sea so that's great destination this silly Instagram photo op thing <laughs> it's not silly it's cool tourists need this yay you are gorgeous there so where is the champagne, champagne. <laughs> oh, that would be great for Instagram some perfect pictures with champagne but by sunset yeah, that's what people do. I saw pictures on the internet. They oh. come here by car, of course, <laughs> with champagne and glasses and everything, balloons, and it's the perfect picture that people remember for five minutes. <laughs> of course, they know what they are doing. <laughs> Kudos to them. But the views are nice. Yes, very nice. With the Instagram pictures taken care of, we could continue savoring the hot summer day, casually strolling past cacti and everything you usually do in October. In our upcoming videos, we'll show you more of our sunny discoveries here in Cyprus. And of course, we'll make a small tour of the house where we were staying. So this is the house. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed yet and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the future videos. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye!